So you signed up for AP Environmental Science this year and you thought this was gonna be a class about trees and going outside and why we should all recycle. But now you have your unit one test coming up, there's 30 new terms to review, you have an FRQ and you're starting to question your life choices. Well, I'm here to tell you not to panic because I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to study for this unit one test. Now there's two parts to this plan. The first part is reviewing the content that's most likely to show up on that unit one test. And the second part is practicing the FRQ writing skills that you'll need on that part of the test. And as a bonus, we'll cover a simple four step process that is the most effective way to make sure you recall this content on test day. Let's start with the content that's most likely to show up on your unit one test. The easiest way to identify the most important concepts to study for your unit one test is to look at the APES course and exam description, which is the document the college board created for your teachers so they know exactly what to cover in every unit and exactly what to put on your unit one test. While I do think it's helpful for you to go through the CED for each unit yourself, luckily for you, I've already gone through it and created a study guide and unit summary review video that covers all all of the most important concepts in just 20 minutes. For units one and two, the study guide is completely free, so head over to the ultimate review packet and sign up for a free preview so you can grab your copy. And what's so helpful about this study guide specifically is that all of the questions are written just like FRQs. So in each question on the unit one study guide, you'll see a bold task verb like identify or describe or explain. And if you want a resource that tells you exactly how to answer each of these different kinds of FRQs, you can grab a copy of this FRQ task verb sheet with your free preview of the ultimate review packet. And this is so important that you learn how to answer task verbs with the appropriate amount of detail so that you work smarter, not harder when it comes time for that exam in May. The other benefit of using specifically this ultimate review packet study guide is that you'll be combining steps one and two of this process. So while you practice recall the most important concepts from unit one, you'll also be practicing the FRQ writing skills that you'll need for that section of the test. But before you get started studying, Let's talk about what it looks like to study with care and with intention. See, a lot of students just race through the study guide, writing their answers by directly copying down information from their notes or from the unit review video. Or even worse, they just reread their notes or watch the unit review video without answering any practice questions that force them to recall that content. And neither of these approaches is really gonna improve your ability to recall that information when it comes time for your unit one test. Instead, you need to make sure you're using a technique that scientific study after scientific study shows is the best way to remember information on a test, which is active recall or retrieval practice. This just means that when you're answering review guide questions, you wanna actively recall that information from your memory without using any notes or videos to support your answers. And make sure you're putting the active in active recall. This process should feel a little challenging. It's difficult to try to review complicated information that you've recently learned. There are definitely going to be questions that you either can't answer at all or answer incorrectly. And it's what you do when you get to these specific questions that's going to separate you from 90% of students who are just going through the motions of studying. When you get to a question that you can't answer, you wanna go back to your notes or to a review video or your textbook, review the important information needed to answer that question, and then close that review resource and go back and try answering the question from memory. And this is the key. Whenever you answer review guide questions, you wanna make sure you're actively recalling the content from memory without notes or videos. But the other step that will really elevate your study process and maximize your chances of earning A on that unit one test is to correct your study guide answers using the answer key. This helps you avoid something called the trap of familiarity that gets AP students every year. This is where you recognize a term in a question or you think you have the basic gist of the idea, but it turns out there's some serious gaps or misconceptions in your understanding. So as a review, let's go through the four steps of the only APE study plan you'll ever need. Step one, answer as many of the study guide questions as you can using active recall. As a pro tip, circle or put a question mark by any questions that you're going to review and then come back to. Step two, review your notes or the unit review video for any questions you skipped on your first recall attempt. Step three, close your notes or the video and try answering the questions that you skipped on that first recall attempt. And finally, step four, use the answer key to fill in any gaps in your recall attempts and leap over that trap of familiarity. And if you really wanna make sure you have these concepts down and are able to recall them on test day, complete these four steps a few days before your unit one test so you can spend the last few days before the test quizzing yourself using this completed study guide. If you use the ultimate review packet and these active recall steps to study for your unit one test, let us know how it went in the comment section down below. If you're ready to get started and head over to that unit one ultimate review packet video, you can click right here. Or if you still have some topics to cover in unit one, you can check out the whole unit one playlist right here. But whatever you click on next, always remember to think like a mountain and write like a scholar.